What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet or you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, podcasts, you're going to find it right here. So be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. Thanks to you, it's the fastest growing Dodgers YouTube channel in the game. So be sure to tell your friends, tell your family, any Dodger fans you know, tell them to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Now for the pitchers. The first guy I want to talk about is Tony Gonsling because the Gonslinger is slinging this spring. After his 2020 regular season where he was fantastic, a real breakout regular season where he won Baseball America's Rookie of the Year, he struggled in the postseason. So I wanted to see how is he going to respond, and he has responded well. The great Catsby is going to rewrite the narrative about him this season, especially when we get to October. Now in his defense, he went 17 days without pitching in a big league game before he pitched in the 20. 2020 postseason. So I think if they went back, they would probably have used him a little differently, but he did struggle. An 8-6-8 ERA gave up four home runs in nine and thirds innings, but he did use it as a learning experience. Here's Tony Gonson talking about what he learned in the 2020 postseason. Just to how important it is to compete every pitch, you know, that you can't can't take a pitch off, you can't, um, you know, take an at-bat off. You got to go out there and attack every guy like they're the best hitter in the world and, you know, give it everything that you can do or everything you can got. Goose looks like he's grooving right now, and you see the mechanics look great. He has command of all of his pitches, really fine-tuning that pitch mix this spring. And Dave Roberts said that he had a really great winner, and he's been fun to watch this spring. Tony, you know, I know I keep saying it, but he had a really good winner. He spent the entire winter in Los Angeles, and I just can't say enough about the commitment that that he's made uh, to himself and uh, getting better. And so right now, uh, he's using all the resources from the weight room to the pitch design guys and all the pitching guys, and he's just in a good place. Mechanically, uh, clarity of mind, and he's going out there on the attack. And the fastball, slider, change up mix breaking ball all is uh working well right now and he's uh, getting left and right out very efficient command the baseball and it's been really fun to watch and then there's Garrett Clevenger. He's really turned some heads this spring, and he pitched well again today. He had another two strikeouts and one inning of work. That's now 11 punch outs for Garrett Clevenger this spring training. That leads all Dodger relievers, his ERA down to 1-5, and he's looked really solid. You remember the Dodgers picked him up in a three-team trade with the Rays in the Phillies. The Dodgers sent away the first baseman prospect, Dylan Paulson, and he looks like he's going to have an impact in this Dodgers bullpen this season, like what I've seen so far from Garrett Clevenger. And they're very high on Garrett Clevenger. Dave Roberts talked about his potential as a high leverage lefty reliever coming out of that Dodgers pen. He's a guy that, you know, as far as upside, he's a leverage uh, reliever. Um, he's a guy that gets lefties, righties out. Um, he can command the fastball. Uh, he can spin it, strike it, shorten it. Uh, gets left and right out, like I said. So, you know, I, I think with Clev, it's just continue to get him familiar with what we're doing, get him more comfortable. Uh, from that first outing to now, um, he's consider continuing to get more comfortable executing pitches. And, uh, you know, I expect a lot of good things from this year. Then, of course, you got to give Kenley Jansen his props. He's looked good so far this spring. A zero ERA through five innings pitch, nine strikeouts, no walks. Opponents are hitting just 125 against him. He's got great life on his stuff. I hope Kenley Fornia has a great year and will probably be his last year with the Dodgers. Then there's Jimmy Nelson. So Jimmy Nelson is another guy that's been a real wild card so far this spring. A zero ERA through five innings pitch. Opponents are hitting just 118 off him. Now, the most encouraging thing about Jimmy Nelson is that he finally looks healthy. 2018, he had the shoulder surgery. Then he had the back injury with the Dodgers. Never could get quite healthy. Well, he looks healthy, and his stuff looks filthy. Comes the wind and the 2-2. Got him swinging at a breaking ball in the dirt. So Lair strikes out. And, and he said he's open to any role the Dodgers have for him this season. So let's hope that Jimmy Nelson can stay healthy and have an impact on the Dodgers this year. I just hope that anytime Jimmy Nelson gets a strikeout, that they play Nelson from the Simpsons. <laughs> 
No, but it's great to see him out there dealing, and he looks like he can be a real weapon for this team this year, whether it be as a starter or coming out of that Dodgers bullpen. And he said this is the best he's felt in years. I mean, it's just, you know, coming out of camp, being healthy, feeling the best I've felt since 2017. It's, uh, you know, it's fun. It's fun to be out there again. It's fun to be around the guys in the clubhouse and just be on the field, whether it's doing drills or bullpens. And, um, you know, when you're not grinding through injuries and pain and, and stuff, it's you can actually enjoy the game. And it's been it's been a long time. And so I'm just trying to enjoy it every day. And then there's Victor Gonzalez. So he's quickly becoming my favorite reliever out of that Dodgers bullpen. He's pitching five Cactus League games. He's allowed just one hit. He's had six punch outs and two walks in five and a third innings. Opponents are hitting 56 against him. And you can see that he's really building on that successful rookie campaign where he really was a surprise breakthrough. End up posting a 1-4 ERA, a 1-6-9 FIB. He was second in all of Major League Baseball among relievers in ground ball percentage at 66. 7.3%. And Dave Roberts talked about how sharp Victor Gonzalez has looked this spring, how he's cleaned up his delivery, and how they're going to lean on him heavily this year. Victor's been good. I mean, really, uh, his fastball lane, uh, the window that the slider comes out of, very similar. His direction, he's just really cleaned up his delivery and it's very consistent. And uh, I've always liked his pulse, his calmness. And uh, he just has weapons to get left and right out. And uh, we're going to lean on him. Other guys pitching well, too. Trevor Bauer has done some really nice things. Blake Trinan, David Price, Julio Urias. Lots of guys looking good in Dodgers spring training. But those guys have really stood out. We'll probably do another one of these pretty soon before the season starts. But I want to know from you guys, who are your three spring standouts? Let me know down below in the comments section. And also, does Tony Gonson deserve a spot on the Dodgers starting rotation? Will Tony Gonson be a starter for the Dodgers this season? And I really want your take on this one. If it's down to Tony Gonsolin versus Dustin May for the final spot in the Dodgers rotation, who are you rolling with? If you're going with Tony Gonsolin, drop a cat man down below in the comment section. And if you're going with Dustin May, give me a code red down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet or you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, podcast you're going to find it right here it's going to be a big season for your dodgers so you're going to want to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you want to see even more dodgers content smash that like button for latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com and until next time think blue bleed blue and i'm out